Most people in America are thinking that if I have a batch of eggs and I'll make it into an omelet, I'll scramble it, I'll do something with it to make myself nourished. Sometimes, however, eggs need to be obliterated because what's in them is unhealthy, unholy, and no good. In America, we have things that come out of the earth that have been dormant for long times. They could be dinosaurs, they could be dragons, they could be demons, they could be anything that begins with a D and end in S. But the truth is, it could be the spawn of Satan that we're about to unleash. It could be an alien species that would eat us with its pleas. And openly, we might not be able to kill it when it's openly open. It's possible that once the air hits it, it could die, but at the same time, once the air hits it, it could thrive. We've seen many of movies on Hellboy and others that were truthful stories that were sort of shifted and changed to be more comic book key features so that people were reminded of the difference between heaven and hell. But the reality is that a lot of people did not live to tell. The people who were involved with the alien invasion back in the early 50s almost all died or were killed off by the FBI because the truth getting out there would scare people. We all know of Orson Welles' uh, oblivious radio program that really made people think that people were descending and maybe they were and they turned it into a storyline to teach people not to lie on the radio and not to lie to people because of what was happening that people were actually killing themselves killing others because they thought they were being invaded most people like mars attack as a film i did not but openly it's sort of a shocker that tells you that not all aliens are loving and kind like we might consider from the films of star trek and whatnot where it's more warfare and power the truth is there are aliens out there both domestic and foreign international and spacecraft and we have to be aware that we are not the smartest people on the earth and we are not the biggest people in the world and openly we don't have the fastest technology we don't have the best informationology and we don't have the right to sexually abuse people when we have all these other things facing our country facing our land facing our food sources facing our water at hand in America, we have rights, and those rights are to the truth, to transparency, to action. In order to act, you have to have authentic information. You have to have credibility of the people providing it, and you have to have transparency of the truth that says, I'm sorry to inform you, but this is the truth. That aliens do live in the skies, that aliens may live under the earth, and openly we have to always be wise about the people that we put in charge of both our boys and our girls. The America continent is something we have to be aware of is true, but we have aliens from foreign nations who want to stay here, lay here, and play here, and we see this in the news right now, where there's a million some people at the border, and what I'm saying is, why isn't the border patrol telling them to return home? Why aren't they turning them away? America cannot withstand that type of life flood today. A life flood is when a whole bunch of people who are prominent, not at all, who are poor and impoverished, want to ply through our walls, to take over our lives, to take over our food, to take over our resources, because they are in the mood to travel today. Well, my might be in the mood to travel to Japan and visit my late family and their on their Ohaka, which is their gravesite, but openly, that may not mean that I have the right to travel today during a time of COVID in any way. COVID is a great excuse to turn people away at the borders, but the other truth is that we don't allow people to just walk in our country and take over. And the truth is they must return home. They must go back home to build a new life for themselves, to build their own colonies, their own communities, and their own everything, because America cannot sustain all these immigrants in any way. American people are being outnumbered by the foreigners here, and we need to stop that in every way. Life in America is for American citizens, legitimate people born here with heritage here, history here, lineage here. Not people who come here and impertinently try to have sex here so that they can create offspring in order to create their lineage here. I've seen that happen time and time again where Mexicans come in, have a bunch of kids to care for their family. They never end up in school and they live in the shadows. They steal our value, they steal our jobs, they steal our homes, they steal our cars. And then you sit there and you wonder, what am I supposed to do today?